Hey everyone, Irix Guy here, back again with another Horology video. Now today I'm going to talk about an automatic watch, a manual wind watch, and a quartz watch. Well, what is each one? What makes them different? So let's start with an automatic. Now an automatic, uh, like this uh, Omega Seamaster that I have right here, and by the way, this also comes in a quartz version, but an automatic watch it's also known as a perpetual watch or a kinetic watch. At a high level, what happens is that the movement, the engine of sorts inside this watch, recharges itself by the movement of one's wrist. So at a high level, the way it works is that there's a weight in here. And as you move your hand around, that weight turns around and it makes this spring in the middle more tight. And, the, and, and then that enables it to run for a specified amount of time before you need to, uh, before you need to wear it again. Uh, watches, automatic watches, have different power reserves. Some are only 24 hours, some are 48 hours, some are 32 hours. There's some that are eight days. Uh, Panerai comes to mind for that, an eight day power reserve uh, time piece. But that's that's the high level what an automatic is. Now keep in mind, even with an automatic, you can unscrew the crown and wind it manually. And then likewise, if it's not on your wrist, if you have an automatic watch, you can keep it on a watch winder. And check out my other video where I review a watch winder. And basically all that a watch winder does is mimics the movement of one's wrist when their watch is not on their wrist. It keeps the... Uh, like I said, that weight inside the watch's movement keeps it turning around and keeps your watch charged, I guess is the best way to put it. So now let's talk about a manual wind watch. A manual wind watch is a different animal. Now, it does not recharge itself when you're wearing it on your wrist. So with a manual wind watch, depending upon the power reserve that's inside of it, you need to wind it. So if it's got a 48 hour power reserve, probably need to, uh, you know, good practice to, heck, I just wind it every morning. If it's got an eight day power reserve, you know, maybe do it every couple days. But a manual wind, it will not, when it's on your wrist, it will not uh, re-energize itself. You've got to manually, you know, turn that crown to, to, get, to get things uh, charged back up. Now the last but not least, and actually it is the least, is a quartz. Now a quartz is a battery powered watch. Nothing wrong with that, but from a resale perspective, a quartz watch, for example, this Omega Seamaster Professional 300M, which also comes in a quartz version, in the eyes of a collector, the automatic movement or a manual wind movement is almost always going to be preferenced over a quartz watch. Now from a day-to-day -day wear perspective, a quartz watch does have some obvious advantages. Uh, number one is that you don't have to worry about winding it. Uh, number two, you don't have to worry about wearing it or putting it in a, uh, in a watch winder because it's got that battery. It's going to keep going to that battery runs out or the movement in it malfunctions. So there are some advantages to a quartz watch, but it's all a matter of what you're getting. Uh, you know, what's your own uh, yeah, in, intentions behind getting into watch collecting is. You just want a, you know, a nice watch that looks good from one of the big watch houses and you don't care about the movement, then a quartz may be good for you. But if you want to get something with, with hopefully strong resale potential in the future, stick with automatics or manual wind. Anyway, this is just another horology video from Irix Guy. And if you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do such. So YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGUY. And enjoy all of my videos. And share this video and any of my other videos with others. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.